go-getters welcome back to my channel I have not forgotten about those who have been asking me how in the world do I upload my canva pdf on facebook so i want to kind of talk about this so i have another video guys showing you how you can create and add links inside of canva um and create a pdf okay and a lot of you are saying that when you upload your PDF to Facebook, it has no links. When you add your document or your picture to Facebook, it has no links. So I kind of want to break down a little bit more about that so that we have a full understanding about how this kind of works on the Facebook platform, what you could possibly be doing wrong and how you can fix it. So the first thing I want to share, guys, is that from your personal page, there's no way that I know of that you can go in here and upload a PDF, okay? Not from your personal page. So it's not going to give you an option to be able to do that. These are the only things that you're able to upload. That's a photo and a video, and you're able to do all of these other things as well. So if you want to send out a PDF to a Facebook friend, you can do so by going in the Messenger, uploading that document, that attachment to the Messenger, and you can send out documents by Messenger. Just be very careful about bulk sending documents out by messenger because Facebook can put you in jail when you're doing actions too many actions too fast okay let's scratch the, the personal page it's not something that we can use so I'm gonna go into like one of my groups I'm gonna go into my DG journals my stationery store VIP group I'm gonna go into there so one thing I want to say guys is, is that you're creating a document in Canva, you're adding a link to it, but then you're saving it incorrectly. So when you are inside of Canva, and I cover this specific guys inside of that video, so I'll be sure to link that video. But when you're creating a document in Canva and you are adding a link to some words or something or to a picture inside of Canva, it's really important, guys, that you save that document as a PDF because that activates the link. If you try to save it as a PNG or a JPEG or make it into a video or anything else, that link is not going to be activated. That link is not going to be clickable. You're not going to be able to share that PNG image or that jpeg image and have someone else be able to click it those type of documents don't work with links they're not compatible with links it has to be saved as a pdf so i want to start there so inside of a facebook group is the only place i know of guys that you can upload a document where other people can see it and it actually will be clickable so one of the things i do to kind of troubleshoot if i share a link inside of one of my facebook groups and for some reason it's not clickable i go back to my canva document hit the preview button on my document myself and make sure that it's clickable for me resave it and try again so i would encourage some of you to do that to like backtrack go back to canva double check your document preview your own document also what's also always golden when you download any document before you try to share it with anybody else always test your own documents so open it on your computer test to see if it opens up whatever you need to open up or whatever needs to be clicked make sure that it's clickable prior to sending it to other people i know that sounds like common sense but you know a lot of times when we're busy and we're doing things everything doesn't always come as natural so I'm inside of my Facebook group and I just want to kind of show you guys how to add your PDF. You're going to click these three dots like you're creating a post. You're going to click these three dots. Okay. And then you're going to go down to add a file. And this is where you're going to upload your document and then you're going to post it to your Facebook group. Okay. So you're going to go to your group like you're posting. Okay. Like you're going to say something, type something I should say. You go to the three dots here for more options to add to your post. You click on add a file. And then from there, you're able to choose your file and upload your PDF. Just to repeat, another place that you can share documents is going to be, you know, inside of your messenger. I did another video, guys, where I shared how Etsy sellers can make um, their PDFs or their um, templates available to buyers. That's another good video to watch because I had them to create a PDF 
with the links inside and then upload it to Google Drive for sharing. So definitely check out that video as well. That's another way. So let's just say you do want to share your document from your personal profile. Another way to do that is to upload your document on Google Drive, create a link and share the link on your personal profile. That way, when someone clicks it, they're able to download it directly to their device and then they have your document. So if you guys have any other questions about this, let me know. I just wanted to clear up a little bit of confusion on those videos, but I'm happy to answer any questions that I can answer down in the comments. So be blessed, go-getters. Check out any links in the description box for any additional resources. Don't forget, whatever you put your hands to shall prosper if you believe. I'll see you guys on the next video.